Okay, so this is my deck for Sunday. I'm running for basic. I'm running Taurus, Cubic, Karmic, and Ranguru for draw support. And this is guys protecting the energy for Ranguru and Taurus. I have an EV evolution going on. I'm depending on Sivion to build up my deck. If I need Flareon for Decidueye and Crash, Crash Pokemon. If I need him for Volcanon and other fire decks. And if I need him for dark Pokemon, I can use that. And also I have this one for other mystic Pokemon like Gobbador and such. This will take care of it. But my main area is focused here because a lot of uh, Pokemon like Taurus and um, DARPA and a few others have weakness against him. So he is actually, will have my natural uh, opponent switch. So I'm using this guy to bring out and build these two as my main attackers, okay? Taurus, Orangaru, and this guy are there uh, as just in case until I get the chance to build up. Use one Sivion to build up a life Lankin Rock while using these guys to help with weakness. So that is my, those are my Pokemon for League Cup coming up. All right, and these are my supporter, trainer, and energies. These are my energies for my Sivions, for my Lankin Rocks, for uh, Espeon, and for Taurus. These are supporter cards. Don't forget, you can only use these one time per round, per turn. And when it comes to item cards, you can use as many as you want. So another way I teach my daughter to remember is if you see a person on it, that means you can only use it one person per turn. If you see balls or items, if it says blue on there, you can use as many as you want during a turn. But if it has red on it for supporter and it has a person, you can only use them one time uh, per turn. Okay, only one supporter per turn. So my supporters have in one Sigamore, two Pokemon Lady Centers, one Kakui, one Brock Grit, and then I have some Disrupt cards, Skull Grunt, uh, Handiwork, and then Flare Grunt. I have some uh, VS Seekers, so I continue to Disrupt, or if I need to Sigamore, or pull out another end. This is for more energy. That's a disrupt, disrupt, gets rid of energy. She is good too. I use my VS Seekers to pull her out. Field Blower is the new thing now. And also I use my VS Seeker to Lysander, which I really don't need because I have Lincoln Rock in my deck. But in case Lincoln Rock is not out yet, then I will use a Lysander for that. All right, so you start the game off, you wanna shuffle your cards. Um, before y'all start, both players will be shuffling their cards. I shuffle my cards like this. Here we start over. Um, I grab half the deck. I kind of give some spaces in between. I go in through it sideways like this. And I just kind of let them fall in while pushing them in as well and giving the space in between more gap. And I keep doing it over. I probably do it like four times. Grab this piece here. Chunk it in, and do it again. And that's shuffling, it's the fastest way to shuffle. Some people do it differently. And then I put it down, the other opponent will grab it, he will cut it. And then basically you draw seven cards. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Put this over here. It's my hand now. I look at them. 
look for any basics. I have one basic, so turn it around and wait for your opponent to grab, find a basic in their deck. One EV, say this is my hand and there was an EV there. So I'll show my cards to my opponent and we'll shuffle again. This is only if you did not pull a basic in your first seven cards. And I'm actually showing you the cards, but in reality, you don't need to look at your cards. You just shuffle, okay? Okay, so leave it there. My opponent will cut it. And then I'll grab seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven. Remember, you only do this again if you did not have a basic. So we'll look, and I have a basic. So turn it around, wait for my opponent, say he's ready, if he's ready. And then I'll get six prize cards. Do not look at them. Put them to the side. And then when you're ready, shake hands, turn it around, and let the game begin. So if you go first, I like to go second, but if you go first, draw a card. Whenever it's your turn, you draw a card. This is now your card. Don't show him. Look for what you can use. So I never, you can only use one supporter. So I have to choose which one of these I want to use this round. But I can use these if I want. Oh, also you can only use one energy per turn unless you have some kind of uh, card that says you can use another energy. So I'm going to go ahead and place this first energy and only energy to break and rock like this. See how it looks. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and use a... If they went first and they have an energy, I'm going to use this card. Okay. If they did not use energy, I'm going to use this card. So I'll flip a coin. I'll show them. So uh, let me scoot this over. I'll show them. Flip uh, a coin. So get a coin. Or this. Evens mean, evens mean heads. Odd means tails. So, always read your card. If you flip uh, flip two coins for each head, discard two cards from the top of your opponent's deck. So, this is how I practice when I don't play at a league. So that's tails. Tails again. So, this was a whiff, which means I didn't do anything. And I put it in my dispel card, which is down here below my deck. Okay, before my turn ends, because I have a V as Seeker, put a supporter card from your dispel card into your hand. So now this is goes in the dispel card, and I'm getting this one back in my hand for next turn. And that's it. So my turn is over. I'll say end of turn, and I will uh, give it to them. Being this is the first round, if I went first, then I cannot attack or evolve. If this is if I went second, then I can use uh, my attack. Since I have one energy right now, I can only use the first attack. All right. Okay, so focus. So let's say it's my turn again. I have uh, a look at my cards. I pulled one card because it's my turn again. And I will choose between any of these and use them. Again, you can only use one supporter per turn. Let's say for whatever reason I get a knockout and I knock out the opponent, then I get to choose any one of these cards. I can't look at any of the cards, I just pick one. And that is now in my hand. Say that I picked out, if I knocked out an EX or a GX, then I can pick two cards. Yes. 
and now these are mine. One more thing when it comes to item cards like uh, Ultra Ball, read it. This card, two cards from your hand. If you do, search your deck for a Pokemon, reveal it, and put it into your hand and shuffle deck. So I already have three cards, so I'm gonna go ahead and discard these two cards. I'm gonna look at my deck, and I'm gonna look for a Lincoln Rock. Got one. Show my opponent, put it into my hand. And anytime you look through your deck, whether you have a Nest Ball, Water Ball, uh, Energy, uh, whatever it may be, and you have to look through your deck, you have to always shuffle your deck before you put it down. So I just looked through my deck, so now I have to shuffle. I put it down, so that way my opponent can see it, and he can cut it. He can say cut or tap in the event. Your opponent says tap, that just means tap, okay? That means he doesn't need to cut it, he'll just tap it, all right? So, this is my discard card down here. And now I used Ultra Ball, so it doesn't stay in my hand. It goes in the Dispel card as, Dispel as well. I have Lincoln Rock now, and so I will evolve my Pokemon the Lincoln Rock and I can continue playing again. Cool.